Hi everybody! Welcome back to part two of my Prince George series and here we'll be concentrating on the downtown core. This is a map of the downtown core of Prince George. Uh, we'll be going up second and down third, fourth, and finally up fifth from Queensway. I decided to start this video from Memorial Park Cemetery because A, as it's the only green spaces on the ride and it was quite nice so it gives you a good view of how I get ride, ride down to Prince George City Centre. I rarely ever go down there. As you can see there will be these sticks alongside of the path and they're there so that they can mark uh, the path when the snow comes. and. Actually, this is the last good day before the snow did come. This was taken on, no on November the 10th and on November the 11th, Remembrance Day, it was cold and overcast and by the 12th or maybe the 13th, we had snow and it's been here ever since. Cyclists love using Memorial Park Cemetery because it's right beside Yellowhead Highway and that's a major highway you don't want to ride on that. <laughs> so we're just leaving uh, Memorial Park and then we'll be uh, jumping onto Lansdowne Road and then a quick jog onto Ferry Avenue and then we'll turn down Upland Street. Here crossing Ferry Avenue and I'm going to ride on the sidewalk. I know riding on sidewalks not a lot but Ferry Avenue is just too busy to try to cross the street with all the traffic going both ways. The my GoPro camera is the same as I used in part one, but this time I mounted it onto the bike with duct tape. Steve Smith would be proud. Yes to all my Canadian audience, it is a Red Green Show reference. I think it's going to be cool, we'll be going underneath Highway 97, or also known as the Caribou Highway. As you can see, they people park in the bike lanes in Prince George. It happens all the time here. This is where you really love riding a road bike. They're so fast, you just glide around this corner at great, at great speed. That is the actual speed I'm going. I didn't speed the video up at all. We are now entering the area locally known as the Hood. As you can tell by the name, not an area we really want to live in. We are now, now and we are now coming across to 20th Avenue, or in this part of town is known as the Gateway. From Spruce Street, we will be turning onto 15th Avenue, and 15th Avenue actually has a bike lane, which is pretty cool. Interesting fact, the name changes that Highway 16 experienced when entering Prince George. From 96th Avenue, it becomes 20th Avenue, then Victoria Street, finally 1st Avenue, which is also known as the Yellowhead Highway. Here we are crossing Victoria Street. As you can see, it is still really a highway. <laughs> As you can see, uh, 15th Avenue now becomes Patricia Boulevard. To our left is the Prince George Public Library, and it is a really nice library. Ahead and to my right is the Prince George Coliseum. To the left is the new Camphor Leisure Pool, and that replaced the old Four Seasons uh, swimming pool. We're going to turn down 7th Avenue here. And as you can see, we have the Prince George City Hall. Actually, an interesting fact I actually worked for the Prince George City Council on a contract many, many years ago, just after I got my MCSE. That was a long, long time ago. As you can see, there's a new uh, apartment building to uh, our right, and we are now on George Street. George Street and 3rd Avenue are the main shopping streets in Prince George. And this is Friday, November the 10th, and you can see it is really dead. If you go on the west side of Prince George, it is as busy as hell. I'm doing a quick tour around the Prince George City Hall Plaza. 
Actually, this is the uh, first week of Standard Time. Daylight Saving ended last week. Actually, that condo complex to our right is one of the few new complexes built in the downtown core. The keg, the keg restaurant has been there for at least 30 years, if not longer. As you can see, downtown Prince George is really, really big. And the Romano Hotel was old when I lived here, and that was over 20 years ago. To our right is the BC Provincial Courthouse. Now, this is the main courthouse for all of northern BC. So, L trials from Williams Lake, Vanderhoof, Mackenzie, McBride, basically anything in the northern BC comes here. Actually, that dome is actually a copper dome because it's so dry. It hasn't yet got its green pentina, but maybe in about 50 years it will. Okay, we are going to be leaving George Street and we'll be turning up 2nd Avenue. And this is a one-way, four-lane street. No traffic here at all. On this major street, there's only one major store, and that's Surplus Herbie's, BC and Federal Social Services Departments, and a parking garage. As you can see, there's a fair amount of homeless population down at this end of the of Prince George Court. Really, really, really dead. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go on the sidewalks along Victoria Street and by right, furniture has had a sale since I used to live here, continuously. This used to be the main shopping street in Prince George. But as you can see, this is Friday and it's really dead. When I lived here 20 years ago, this was much, much busier. And there are only two coffee shops down on the east side and all the Starbucks are on the west side of Highway 97. As you see, right across us is Northern Hardware. As you can see, it's a vacant building and they closed that store just before the pandemic. I think they timed it right. Is it still vacant after all these years? Uh, to my right is CF. A furniture and they've been here a very very long time at least over 30 years and uh, there I think there's a camera store after Northern Harbor and a vacant lot. Across the street is the farmers market that used to be in an old bank building I can't remember what which bank building but it's only open on Saturdays from 8 30 to 2. What is interesting is that youth and family services is actually housed in the original PG post office. I think this is the old Columbus Hotel, but it's been boarded up for years. And the store beside it is also vacant, and I think it is also boarded up. The only thing of interest on 4th Avenue is the Canvas Service Building to my right, and there's another parking building on my left. As you can see, Prince George is obsessed with parking buildings. The Canvas Service Building is actually quite important because it's, it's the main ser Canvas Service Center for all of Northern BC. This was the scene of an explosion in an old abandoned Greek restaurant. I believe there are some homeless people living in there, and this happened around 7 a.m. on August the 22nd. I also believe that there are three people that are injured, with one being critical. So we're going up Fifth Avenue from Queensway. Um, right beside me on my right is Service BC, and that's where you get your license. Both my daughters got their license from there. And we're going to be crossing George Street and going up 5th, which will complete our outer tour of the core. Oh yeah, that's a really good restaurant, the Twisted Cork. Uh, my boss took me there when I finished my contract with um, the City Council and I went up to work as the IT guy for Duke Energy up in Pine River. The main building on 5th Avenue is actually Canada Post. This is Canada's Post Main Sorting and Distribution Center. As you can see, there's not much else of interest on Fifth Avenue. And to our right is the Knox United Church. It's a really neat, cool wooden church building. I really like that. And of course, to our left is another empty parking building. Prince George is obsessed with parking buildings. So we're going to finish our tour by going up and down the outside of the core along Victoria Street, which is also Highway 16. 
So we are going to go down to 2nd Avenue, turn around and come back. Which we'll be doing that very shortly. So as we come down to the 1st Avenue, west of Victoria Street is 1st Avenue, east of Victoria Street is Highway 16, also known as the Howell Head. Highway 16 actually acts as a major barrier. You should, even though this is technically a city street, but it's four lanes going, it's a four lane highway, and there there's a few big buildings on the west side, but they're spasmodically spaced. The new building that I've seen here in the last 20 years is the RCMP police station, and it's really quite nice. <laughs> I am going to end this video at St. Michael's Church because that's right on 5th Avenue there, and that covers the area that I showed in the map at the beginning of the video. Also, it's uh, the weather started to really change, and in the morning we had bright sun, by the evening it was raining. I want to thank everybody for watching the video, and the next one I promise will not be the boring cityscape. We'll be looking at Cottonwood Island Park. Bye!